Susan Hobbs here with today's message on how to manage challenging conversations. When we are in a conversation with someone and we begin to feel the hair on our neck stand up or our cheeks get toasty, it's time to stop and think before we react. Let's consider our choices here. We can remove ourselves completely from the conversation and shut down. We can continue feeling hot-headed and handle it poorly or we can shift our way of thinking and handle it beautifully. We have choices, and one thing is for sure. How our conversations progress is ultimately up to us. I know it can be easy to blame others for the way we feel during our interaction. However, our takeaway can only be decided by us. We choose how successful and meaningful our conversations will be and how they'll impact our relationships and our well-being. You've probably been there. You're talking with someone when all of a sudden you recognize a shift in the conversation. You go from conversational to putting your guard up. It could be a change in their body language, perhaps a shift in their tone of voice or their behavior. It throws you off balance. And here is when emotions run high, opinions get rigid, feelings get hurt, and it can turn into a verbal arm wrestle over who's going to come out on top. Each aspect of our life, from our career to our family to our health, is negatively impacted when we do not handle conversations well. So next time you find yourself wondering what to do, here are three tips to help you achieve exceptional results from everyday conversations. The first tip, when someone is sharing information with you, be sure you know if you're invited into the conversation as a participant or as a listener. Not everyone wants feedback, even though you may be eager to offer it. If they are not in a position to receive, you are tapping into their emotion, not their logic. When you make an assumption based on your interpretation of the conversation and begin offering your advice without their permission, you can quickly turn a collaborative conversation into a defensive tug of war. The second tip, observe people's behavior. The more skilled you are at understanding communication cues such as body language, word choices, pace and tone of voice, the more successful you will be in interacting with them. Are you talking with someone who is people-oriented or task-oriented? Are they an introvert or an extrovert? This matters. Do they start off with a friendly conversation or get right to the point? When you understand how to communicate best with them, it puts them at ease. They feel comfortable with you because they sense that you get them and they enjoy interacting with you. You gain more impact and influence. It's a win-win for both of you. The third tip, be open to their outlook. We enter into conversations with our own experience, beliefs, and opinions. And although you may feel strongly about your position, I ask you to be open to the other person's viewpoint. You may not agree with their perspective, however, you are more likely to make better decisions in the future because you've opened yourself up to a new way of thinking. When you are closed off, your body language, your tone of voice, and what you say shifts, and so does their perception of you. Think of it as if you're walking around with a sign that says, I'm closed and quite happy with my own opinions. Thank you very much. Is that the message you want to leave them with? Our outcome during challenging conversations is in our hands. When we step fully into self-responsibility, we understand that we alone make ourselves upset, emotional, happy, mad, annoyed. <laughs> We process communication through our own filter of life experience, beliefs, and ideals, and we have an opportunity to turn every conversation into a positive experience, no matter how challenging it may seem. Who do you know who needs to hear this message today? 
perhaps the people you experience challenging conversations with. Forward this to the people you work with and the people you love. Susan Hobbs, exceptional results from everyday conversations, signing off for now. Stay tuned till next time.